It's a free space. That no. <laughs> that And now for our feature presentation. Okay, everybody, Aubrey in the house with you once again, getting ready to do a redemption run of Jeopardy for the Super Nintendo. If you saw my previous run, it ended in 33 games, but I walked away with more than a million dollars. 1.1 million dollars, as a matter of fact. Look at those flashing letters. Let's see if I can redeem myself this time around. Make it back up over a million dollars. Here we go, the Jeopardy round. Here are the categories. For our six categories, we're gonna deal with sweets, world of fashion, ballet, anagrams, gay 90s, and finally, museums. I think these categories are gonna be just fine. Let's get started. Sweets for 100. The answer is... The joy of cooking recipe for these makes about eight five inch long fat men or 16 thinner ones. What are gingerbread men? That's right. Could I have sweets for 200? The answer is... These desserts can be Indian, cottage, cabinet, or rice. What are puddings? I'll have sweets for 300. The answer is... Pastry chefs know that sugar is mixed with these to make meringue. Oh, Jim, how could you lock me out? He's trying to buzz in. Egg whites, yeah, he got that one. He locked me out, though, unfortunately. Okay, we're going on to the next clue. Ballet for 100. The answer is... Swan Lake, Lake was originally such a failure that this composer planned to rewrite it, but he died first. Who is Tchaikovsky? Uh-huh. Uh, ballet for 200? The answer is... In the 1930s, this company was known as the Sadler's Wells Ballet, but now it's called this. Um... What is the... What is the Western Legion? Legion? No. Crap. I don't know that one. See if Jenny knows this any better than I do, because I don't have a clue. It's the Royal Ballet. All oh, right, Royal Ballet. So she and I are tied. <sighs> Two hundred dollars piece. Let's keep going. Gay nineties. One hundred. The answer is. By eighteen ninety seven, they had air filled tires, coaster brakes, and adjustable handlebars. What are bicycles? That's correct. Gay 90s for two? The answer, the answer is. There. It sank in Havana Harbor and set off a war. What is the USS Maine? That's correct. Gay 90s, 300? The answer is. On March 18th, 1891, this mode of communication was introduced between Paris and London. What is the, uh, telegraph? No. 
No. Lost some money on that one. Down two hundred dollars. Jenny. The telephone, right? Oh, stop. Jenny takes the lead right now, but we're still very early in the game, so I'm not worried. World of Fashion 100. The answer is... The hat in the Mexican hat dance. What is the sombrero? World of Fashion for 200, please. The answer is... South Seas garb worn, for, worn by Dorothy L'Amour on the road. What is a sarong? World of Fashion for 300. The answer is. Where on his body an Arab would wear the traditional kefiyya? Kefiyya. What is the head? World of Fashion for 400. The answer is. About seven yards long, it's the loose body wrap worn by Hindu women. What is a sari? That's the one. World of Fashion for 500. The answer is... The sash worn with the Japanese kimono. What is an obi? Well, I'm done in that category. Okay. I'll have gay 90s for 400. Daily double. I have 1,700. All of it. Here's the clue. Forty wax or not, she was found not guilty in 1893. Who is Lizzie Borden? Sorry, folks. 3,400. Gay 90s for five. The answer is... New York restaurant owners call this be Joel Millionaire the best 25 customers they ever had. Jim. Diamond Jim Brady. Yep, he's the one. $800 now for Jim, and where do we go next? We're going to ballet for 300 The answer is... The patriotic ballet Stars and Stripes is danced to his music. Who is John Philip Sousa? Let's have a ballet for 400, please. The answer is... In Stravinsky's ballet, this tidal bird has strange powers and magic feathers. What is the fire bird? Ballet for 500, please. The answer is... She was already in her 40s when she became Rudolf Nureyev's most famous partner. Jim, do you know the answer? No, he does not. He's going to lose $500. Taking him down to 300 Jenny? She doesn't know either. She's going to lose all her money. Well, I don't know, so I'm not going to even bother ringing in. We're looking for Dame Margot Fontaine. Dame Margot Fontaine. I'll have sweets for 400. The answer is. Pralines are most commonly made with this nut. What is the pecan? Yeah. And I'll have sweets for 500. The answer is. The part of Great Britain best known for its shortbread. What is Scotland? I think somebody's PMing me, so I'll get to them in a minute. $5,000 is what I have in cash right now. Okay. Now I want anagrams for 100. The answer is. You might find a flea on this part of your garden's foliage. What is a leaf? Anagrams 200, please. The answer is... 
Even when you throw dead flowers away, you save this. What is the vase? As the cash keeps piling up. Anagrams for 300. The answer is. What I sold is when she gets dirty. What is soil? Anagrams for 400. The answer is. It takes a lot of talent to do it while on ice. What is skate? Anagrams for 500. The answer is. Deeply engrossed in part of a book. Ah, uh, Jenny blocked me out. It's okay. Wrapped. Uh-huh. So Jenny's back on the board, got her cash back. One category left, which is museums. The answer is... Here's the clue. The nightgown Barbara Mandrell wore on her wedding night is displayed in her museum in this city. What is... Uh, Nashville? Two hundred? The answer is... City whose museum of the Confederacy adjoins the White House of the Confederacy. What is... Baltimore? No, sorry, that is wrong. Found five thousand nine hundred dollars. Richmond, Richmond, Virginia. I'm looking for Richmond, Virginia. Next clue. Three hundred. The answer is. An entire museum in the city is devoted to forties movie star Carmen Miranda, as the Cariocas could tell you. What is Rio de Janeiro? Yep, Rio de Janeiro. 400? The answer is. The Stewart Museum in Nebraska displays the cottage in which this Grapes of Wrath star was born. Who's Henry Fonda? Uh-huh. One clue remaining for $500? The answer is... The new, this New York City Arts Museum was founded and named for Gloria Vanderbilt's aunt. Jim. He doesn't know. So he drops, he loses all his money. He's got no money left. Jenny. The Whitney Museum. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, I'm in the lead with 6,600. Jenny has $1,000. Jim has no money, so he'll go first in Double Jeopardy. Here we go, folks. Six brand new categories, and they are Hog Wild, we have Hog in quotation marks, English Literature, mm -hmm. North American History, Medicine, Transportation, and finally, Classical Music. Okay, Jim, you don't have any money in front of you, so you get to go first. Where are we starting? Okay. Medicine for 200. The answer is... Favorite soap opera disease characterized by memory loss. What is amnesia? Yeah. Medicine for 400. The answer is... To a layman, it's lockjaw. What's tetanus? I'll have medicine for 600, please. The answer is... Two-letter factor inherited in blood cells. What are RH? Medicine for 800. The answer is... British sailors were called limeys for the fruit they ate to ward off this disease. 
What is scurvy? Thousand? The answer is... From Latin to please, medicine given just to humor a patient. Oh, 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 I think I just figured it out. Yeah, placebo, I knew that one, but Jenny got it right, so she doubles her money to $2,000. Where are we going? Transportation for 200 The answer is... Though he started designing helicopters in 1909, his first didn't fly until 1939. Who is Igor Sikorsky? Take transportation for 400 The answer is... The IRT, IND, and BMT are the three divisions of this city's subway system. What is New York City? Transportation for 600 The answer is... The first national exhibition of these was held in 1900 in Madison Square Garden. What are automobiles? Yep. Transportation for 800. The answer is famous for motorcycles. This Japanese company is the world's biggest maker of musical instruments. What is Yamaha? Transportation for a thousand. The answer is five figures now. Sweden, Denmark, and Norway share it as their national airline. What is SAS? That's gonna be uh, good for another thousand. Eleven thousand six hundred dollars. Where to now? Hog wild for two hundred. The answer is nonsense. Or where you might go to get your pig cleaned. What is hogwash? Hog wild for 400, please. The answer is... Cotter class clats, which included Epstein, Barbarino, and Horseshot. What are... Who are the sweat hogs? Uh-huh. Uh, hog wild for 600, please. The answer is... The Larouse Encyclopedia of Animal Life says everything about this African mammal is ugly. What is a warthog? Hog Wild for 800, please. The answer is... Scottish New Year's Eve celebration of going house to house giving presents. What is... Hog... I got nothing. I didn't mean to ring in, so I'm down to $12,000, but I still have a big lead. Jim. Hogmany. Hogmany. All right. So Jim has a little bit of money sitting in front of him. And now we go to North American history for 200 The answer is... In 1949, Costa Rica's constitution abolished this, replacing it with a small civil guard. What is slavery? Or no, abolish this. What is the First Amendment? No. Down to 11 8. The army. Oh yeah, the army. So Tim's up to a thousand dollars. Jim is up to a thousand dollars. Excuse me. Okay, uh, North American history four hundred. The answer is. Between his terms as Cuba's leader, Fulgencio Batista lived in the for a while at this U.S. state. What is Florida? It is indeed Florida. North American history for six hundred. The answer is. 
1903, Panama proclaimed its independence from this adjacent country. What is Mexico? No. Not Mexico. Jim. Colombia. It proclaimed its independence from Colombia. Okay. Alright. North American history for 800. The answer is... Barons, earls, viscounts, and one woman, Jeannie Suave, have all been governor general of this country. Governors general of this country. Canada. Mm-hmm. All right. Classical music, 200. Daily double. One of the two. And Jim's going to make it a true daily double. Here's the clue. Though German-born, this 18th century composer framed for his messiah is buried in Westminster Abbey, and it was George Frederick Handel. All right. Classical music, 400. The answer is... Robert Schumann was a noted composer of this 19th century period, which immediately followed the classical. What is the romantic? No. No, you know what? I am going to say what is the romantic. Yeah. Classical music for 12, for 600, please. Yeah, Excuse me. In 1929, Arturo Toscini, not Bo Derek, conducted the U.S. premiere of this Ravel work. What is Bolero? Classical music for 800. The answer is... Writing them for female students, this Venetian music com teacher composed at least 400 concerto concertos. Jenny. Who is Antonio Vivaldi? And that is correct. Okay. Classical music for a thousand. The answer is... His operas include Il Trovatore and La Traviata. Jenny. Right now I'm sitting pretty with $12,600. Giuseppe Verdi. Yep. Next clue. We have seven of them left. Hog Wild for a thousand. The answer is... If you've run hog wild through this country, you've done it in this way. Jenny. Whole hog. That's correct. Jim and Jenny are tied at 4,800 apiece. North American history, 1,000. The answer is... Rafael Leonidas Trujillo Molina was a dictator of this island country for three decades until his 1961 assassination. What is what is the Bahamas? No, 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 no. What is hey? No. What is Jamaica? No. Jim. The Dominican Republic. It was the Dominican Republic. So Jim goes up to 5,800. He has half of what I have at this point. Now we go to English literature, and there's just those five clues up. The other daily double somewhere yeah, in that perfect. category. A.E. Hausman heard a wise man say, give crowns and pounds and guineas, but not this away. What is the heart? Yep. 400, please. The answer is... Poet who relived his holly boyhood in A Child's Christmas in Wales. Jenny. Dylan Thomas. Uh huh. 600. She has a 1 in 3 shot of finding the daily double. The other one. The answer is. Nope. William Golding novel in which English schoolboys stranded on an island turned savage. Lord of the Flies, and I knew that one, but that's okay. Now Jenny has half of what I have, and it's a 50-50 shot now. 800? Nope, is. not there. 
Family name of Lawrence Stern's characters Walter, Toby, and Tristram. Jim? Shandy. And the last clue belongs to Jim because it is the other daily double. Let's go ahead and see it. Okay, and he's going to go 4,600. This will put him close to me. Here's the clue. Author who wrote of his detective character, the face of Father Brown could shine with ignorance, and it's G.K. Chesterton. Oh boy, now Jim doesn't trail me by all that much. We're in Final Jeopardy. Here is our Final Jeopardy category. We're going to be talking about the year 1968. Jim were to get it right, he would go to $22,400. So I'm going to have to do 10601 I have to make a big bet. I have no choice. All right, here we go. This ship was seized by North Korea January 23rd, and the crew was held until December 22nd. it was the Missouri or it could be the USS Missouri hopefully they will accept just Missouri they do awesome if they don't oh boy here we go we'll have to find out if I'm the winner or not let's go to Alex Trebek Final Jeopardy answer is... Is it the Missouri? Oh, it's the USS Pueblo. So once again, I lose. Jenny, on the other hand, gets it right. She goes to 9,600. Did Jim come up with that answer? No. So if I hadn't wagered anything, I would have been the winner, but I had no clue. So I drop all the way down to $1,199. So I'll have to do another redemption of this game soon. Catch you all for my next video coming soon.